Now, if you want to add AOVs to your outputs, you can go back to this AOV manager right here. And to add an AOV, we just click this little plus button right here. And let's say we want to add uh, like reflections or something like that. We just click that uh, reflections from this menu right here. And let's just render to disk again. I'm just going to interrupt that and say, okay. And let's just bring our um, render folder over here. You can see it was outputting JPEGs as well as EXRs of the uh, refre reflection pass. Um, you can also view the reflection passes over here, or you know your um, AOVs over here. Here it does it only shows the beauty pass because we haven't kicked off an IPR in here yet. But if we uh, kick off an IPR over here, now from the drop down we can also view the reflection pass in there. I don't need this uh, AOV. I generally, um, I'm just going to clear this and that gets rid of the AOV so we can move forward without having to kick out any AOVs um, and whatnot. Now what I might do before it comes back to bite me is go back to the main uh, section here and just uh, turn off the override camera resolution. And just let's uh, say that um, when we override our camera resolution, we're going to do it over here instead. So I'm going to set this back this this can be set back to uh, like say 50 and a value of maybe 150 here um, and then if we render this again we can kind of see we've got our we've got our just a kind of half res render going on in the viewport but if we did want to do like a full res render we'd have that uh, ready to go on the node itself cool